let's do this this way. We're going to dwell a little bit on this slide right here. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me, uh, but it might indicate that I'm not the best person to push you along this arrow up here. But maybe I am. I'm something of a science geek. I have worked in air pollution health risk assessment. I've uh, gone to public health school and law school, and I currently sit on the hearing board of the local air quality management district. Um, I am committed to protecting public health, and as it turns out, it's not just emissions of toxic substances that once you breathe them one time, you can be hurt. This is the sort of emission, these carbon dioxide emissions, these global warming gases emissions, that are cumulative, they build up in the atmosphere, and they cause a lot of their problems indirectly. It's not traditional air pollution, and it took me a while to come along to the later parts of this arrow. So let's talk about this arrow. First part of this arrow is the first claim that climate change activists have to make, that climate change is a real thing. Some people think climate just goes around in the same cycle all the time and has for eternity. Well, if you look at ice ages, if you look at uh, variations in where deserts have been, if you look at the fossil record, you, you can see that there's good evidence that climate change has happened. So it's not too hard to move people from claim number one up to claim number two. So there are lots of things that you can observe, including a lot of climate-related weather events that have been occurring lately that can help to convince you that it's happening now. But don't take my word for it. There'll be more of that in the presentation to come. Um, it's a lot harder for some people to get around to number three here that it's caused by us, humans. But I'll show you some slides that convincingly show that humans have messed with the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere more than nature has ever done, ever in recorded history. And we'll show you some slides that show that carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere are very directly correlated with the average temperature of the atmosphere. And then uh, the average temperature of the atmosphere rising is going to cause some problems. Um, not everybody knows this, but scientists and, in, and even industry companies agree that climate change is real, is happening now, and is caused by us humans. Not everybody agrees on the path forward or what sorts of regulations <coughs> there should be, but um, it's a problem, and science and industry not only agree that it's happening, um, they're collaborating to make the world a better place. And that's what we want to get to at the end of this presentation. The notion that we can make a better future. That there are things we can do that we can get out of this. Um, if you were to have uh, asked me where I was about climate change before I started uh, learning about this issue from Al Gore, from what I'd heard from all my environmentalist friends, I thought we were going to hell. We were going to hell in a handbasket, and there was nothing I could do about it. So I went all the way from dismissive to denial and despair. I just uh, thought, well, great, it's great I don't have any kids because I don't have to worry, be worried about their future. But if you're going to have kids, um, <laughs> you have to be worried about their future. And I'm worried about the future of the planet and, and, everybody's, and everybody's kids. So that's the end of segment two. Um, I appreciate your attention. And I guess now I'll take questions.